hi everybody welcome back to another video here on my channel hope you guys are all doing good and well as usual if you're brand new here my name is nikki and here i just talk about all things nail polish so i hope you subscribe before you decide to head out today if you're not already in today's video we're going to be talking about h m polishes and this is a video that i've been wanting to get out for a while now so sorry that it's a bit late but yay it's finally here and h m for the most part to me is a very interesting brand on the first try and it's really inspired me to you know try brands that I've been just ignoring because the indies have just been in my face constantly they just they can't get away once you fall down the rabbit hole you're just there and you're stuck there's no getting out <laughs> for me anyway to my surprise H&M is only sold online which is fine it's where I buy the majority of my polish anyway but I actually did go to the department store itself because I did think they would be sold in store but um, they're not as of now but that could change if you scroll down to the end of the website uh, to the bottom of the website sorry uh, a they have a little scroll button to see what um, countries they ship to so I'm not sure if it's all but they definitely do ship to Canada and the US so that's always good but I do think they ship to a multitude of other countries so please check them out i'm gonna have um all the polishes shown above linked below i know a few of them i think one of them isn't available uh as of right now but you can always put in a notification to um get notified when it does come back in stock i will get into some more details at the end of the video but let's just get into the swatch and review so the first polish is called Adventuring, and this is a cool toned green with some blue undertones. I absolutely love greens like this, and this formula is glorious. Really, really nice. This is almost a one-coater. I think you'd be able to, especially with this paddle brush, very surprised about that, um, gets it. It's really, really nice on that first coat. Like I said, almost a one-coater. And going on on my second coat here, it covers all those bald spots really really beautiful i'm actually surprised that um they did include a paddle brush i thought it'd be small considering the size of the um bottle but it's actually quite large so that's going to be really nice for us to have large nail beds i'm not one of those people but you know it's really nice <laughs> but that is two coats of adventuring second polish we're looking at is called new leaf and this is a sea foam green with a prominent bluish purple shimmer in there this could definitely be used as a topper, as it is very sheer. I thought it would be looking at, at it in the bottle, but I really like how prominent that blue shimmer is, and that's why I think it'd be really good as a topper. Probably over the last color that I showed you guys, but as you can see on the first coat, it's still showing a bit of my nail line, so I'm going to go in on a second coat here. Whew, that blue shimmer is speaking to me. I usually really love blue shimmers against pinks, but I never thought about trying it against, you know, a green base. It's very, very pretty. Um, I did only do two coats on this one because I actually don't mind my nail line showing. I kind of like the look of it with this one. But that was two coats of New Leaf. Third one is called Moonchild. <laughs> Talked about this one before. I did put this on my Mermaid Summer Rack. This one reminds me of sparkling ocean water. It's so pretty. It reminds me of how the ocean looks when the sun is, um, you know, kind of glistening on it. It's so gorgeous. This is pretty uh, sheer on that first coat. But how else are you going to get those sparkles out? It's supposed to be. <laughs> so it's really, really gorgeous. I did go on on a second coat. It did cover quite nicely, but it still left just a tad bit of bald spots. But look how sparkly and gorgeous this is. That purple shift that is in here isn't coming out too prominently. So I did add a third coat off camera, which is going to come up in a second here. But yeah, as you can see, it's still a bit patchy. And now it's at full opacity and it is absolutely breathtaking. So that is three coats of Moonchild. Next one up is called No Shrinking Violet, and I actually learned about uh, what that means through a game called Seven Little Words. It means a very shy person, and I guess it's a very, like, olden saying, but this is really gorgeous. has a similar formula to Moonchild, so it is a bit sheer. Did a pull a bit at the end of my nail at the bottom of my nail but that's okay it could have been due to my application but oh the shift in here is just so gorgeous i love how indigo and blurply it is if you guys have china glazes teen spirit this 
I'd say is a dupe for that but this one is much better in my opinion because that purple shimmer that gets hidden in Teen Spirit's bottle comes out so prominently on here so I did decide to build this one up to three coats <laughs> to show more of that purple shift a bit more prominently and it worked out so well this is so so beautiful and it didn't stain at all really really gorgeous love the shift so that was no shrinking violet Next one up is called Cream Saffron. I did really want to try one of their yellows because yellows are not the best for having the great formula. And this one was not bad, but it did apply a bit streaky on my first coat there. And my nail line is still showing just a tad bit. But yeah, as you can see, it's a bit streaky and patchy. I mean, the formula is more on the crelly side. So I don't know, maybe that's kind of expected. But with this my second coat, I don't think I let it I don't think I let it cure cure enough so I am gonna go in with a third coat but this the color is phenomenal I really really like it this is a nice transition shade um from spring to summer or just maybe like in the dead of like spring it's really really nice so on my third coat here it's kind of applying a bit thick so I don't think this is a good one to build up it's probably best to wait till it dries the best but this color is very very pretty so that was three coats of cream saffron next one up is one of my favorites this is called lost in the forest and i got this one because i thought it would be an excellent ugly pretty and it did not disappoint i don't have ugly ugly pretties like this in my collection and the formula is fantastic it's almost a one coater has the very first one that i showed you guys no streaks and barely any patches if you put it up on the brush i think you get it good in one coat but you know some cream polishes usually become a bit thicker as you keep using them so yeah this one is very very pretty i'm so excited to add this one to my ugly pretty collection it is very very nice so that was two coats of lost in the forest next one up is called candy floss this is a iridescent pink with a really prominent greenish yellow shimmer in there so has similar to New Leaf, which has also had that strong blue shimmer. This one is leaning more on the green side, and it's still pretty sheer on my first coat. Sorry about the cotton fluff. Please ignore. But this one is really nice on that second coat as well. I love this color contrast. It's so delicate and pretty and very springy for spring season even though we're nowhere close to that right now but you know this is in the back of my mind and i think i would definitely use this as a topper as well i did do three coats because i did kind of want that pink to come out with that base this is really pretty i would actually wear this alone because this is another polish where i don't mind my nail line showing too much and i really just like this color contrast really nice so that was three coats of candy floss Next we're going to be looking at is called Ice Capade. Oh, this is a frosty pink with a bit of hollow sparkle in there. The hollow sparkle isn't coming out as much on the camera as I'd like it to. But on the first coat, this applies really, really well. And I think this would look good with some really like a black fleck topper as well. I think that really contrasts really well um, with the icy look of it. It's very, very pretty. And this also does cover pretty nicely <laughs> in two coats. I love this polish. I think it was a really nice choice. It looked pretty nice online, so I really want to give it a try. So that was two coats of Ice Capade. One of my favorites, this is called Precious. This is such a unique apricot -y, like dual chrome color with a prominent green shimmer in there. This one is so, so beautiful, you guys. I was so shocked when I opened this because it was definitely better in person than online. That apricot -y, like dual chrome with that prominent green shimmer is just so breathtaking. This really, really shocked the heck out of me. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. Um, this is definitely giving me indie vibes as well. Um, kudos to H&M for, you know, doing something so different. I haven't seen a polish like this and I definitely don't have a polish like that in my collection and it has this apricot -y shift as I mentioned it's so gorgeous can't wait to experiment with that one so that was called precious next one is called sibylline or sibylline and this oh what exceeded my expectations because I have no creams like this in my collection I do have 
China Glaze is brownstone, and I did a comparison with the bottle shots, and they're definitely not the same. This one has a lot of berry undertones in it, as you can see on that first coat. Covers beautifully as well. A bit, um, sh not sheer, but you just need a second coat. It has creams mostly do, because you can still see a bit of my nail bed, but it is so pretty. I love this for the winter time. It's just brooding enough for both the winter time and the fall, because I feel like that's when we mostly like to wear our darker colors and this definitely is fitting for both seasons it's oh so beautiful and really really happy to have this in my collection it's perfect so that was sibylline or sibylline however you want to say it <laughs> next one up is called nefertiti and this is a gold with a bit of hollow sparkle the hollow sparkle did get a bit lost um on my swatch but it is this is ooh so so good this reminds me of liquid sand this is absolutely beautiful you guys this actually reminds me of the non-textured version of china glaze is so stellar if you guys don't have this polish it's a textured polish it's, it's a travesty to remove but it reminds me of the textured version of that one and it's really very very pretty it's so going into my second coat here this definitely does cover my nail lane on the second coat gorgeous formula stays where you put it no pooling at the sides or at the base of my nail it is very very pretty this one and a good pick for me i was surprised by the hollow sparkle i was just spitting a gold so this one i know you can't see the hollow sparkle but it's there <laughs> nefertiti the last one i'm going to show you guys is regalia and i picked this up because i thought it would be a jewel toned and i was correct <laughs> it's so pretty love this i absolutely love jewel tones in the winter time so i am probably going to wear this one again gorgeous formula so good it's definitely leading more into the darker magenta side has a lot of kind of like a plum mix in there as well really really nice application as usual no pulling at the sides or anything so so gorgeous but i am gonna go in on a second coat because there was still a bit of bald spots there sorry kind of a little pulling at the side there but so pretty this one is absolutely gorgeous so good for winter and for fall as well so that was two coats of regalia so what do you guys think of these polishes i think i would definitely buy from them again i may have in october we'll see in my haul we'll see <laughs> but i really do like this brand you know sometimes when you venture um into a department store's um, other products that are other than clothing it's kind of a gamble and this definitely was <laughs> buying them online no swatches seen and i think that was kind of a way of just doing mystery polishes for myself and kind of not knowing what I was getting. That's the kind of mystery polishes I like. I think I was so tempted to buy so many advent calendars, especially the Dawn Polish one, because Dawn Polish is the brand that is really speaking to me lately, but I didn't because, you know, I was like, I'm not the biggest fan of Christmas and I really would have wanted like a Halloween one. So I think I will get a Halloween one next year, but, uh, yeah, these are kind of a mystery polishes for me. <laughs> and there was no descriptions of the polishes on the website, so I did my best in the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know which polishes were your favorite. And for my favorites, uh, Moonchild, definitely for the mermaid aspect. Precious, because it's just so unique. It's definitely indie vibes. It's just very, very gorgeous on the nails. It kind of has this like apricot -y duochrome as well, as I mentioned, it's gorgeous. And Lost in the Forest, because who doesn't like adding ugly pretties to their collection? I think I will do a comparison of these with some other greens because I really want to see how it looks with other couple ugly gross greens that I have. So yeah, really love this one. And for my last comment on this brand, I will say that buying <laughs> no swatches seen is at risk for buying polishes that don't look like they do online. And I didn't show this one because um, I guess I wouldn't really recommend it, but on the line it looked really feathery and pretty and it kind of looked like maybe it had um bar glitters but it definitely didn't but it's still really pretty and i mean this is called so heather and yeah online it definitely doesn't look as it does in the bottle so you know <laughs> that's the only reason why i would like just be careful of the polishes that you chose but for the most part i really loved all the ones that i chose so yeah, that's H&M for you. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know which polish was your favorite and if you'll be picking any of these up. Let me know if you'd like to see more brands that are not really talked about on my channel. I'd be happy to show you guys. I am thinking about a few for Black Friday. Anyways, thanks so much for watching again, and I'll see you in my next one. Take care.